Hi, welcome to this session where you will learn how to self-host N8N on AWS LightCell with PM2 on Kali Web Server. Welcome, I'm Mathieu, and you can reach me on Twitter on Mathieu 91 So here we are. Uh, we will use AWS to make our setup. So if you don't have uh, already an account, but you can create your account, but I will use mine for the demo. Now you did successfully register to AWS and you got your console account. The first thing to do is to, to go to our light cell console management. So let's go to the search bar and tip light cell. I already have some light cell instance, but for this need of this demo, I will create a, a plain new one. What first you do is to choose your uh, region. For my need, I will take Paris as I live in Paris. <laughs> and what I like is to work with Linux. And I will take the last Debian um, distribution available. What I like too is to add my own SSH key. So I will load it. Up. So in your Mac, you, you can find it in the folder point, point SSH. Uh, so this is the public one and not the private. So I will open it, I will load it. And here we are. When connecting with SSH key, this is from, for me a recommended way to do it because you don't uh, need a password and um, this is more, I may sense, secure as um, only the, the people who got your SSH key can access to your instance. And now we have a look at the price. For our need, we will take the lowest one, which starts at 3.5 USD. And let's write our name. So how about uh, n with n self-host? And let's create. So you have to wait a little, but our instance will be available soon. Here we are. So our instance is available. So let's have a look at it. You can connect to SSH with your browser, but in your case, I will go to my terminal and use it directly. So uh, as uh, LightSail, when you create a new instance, it generates a uh, gen uh, generate an IP. So I will type SSH admin. I mean, this is a, a standard uh, default account. And, uh, the IP address and yes, I accept the SSH. And here I'm connect. So here we are. Now we will um, begin to set up our node uh, server. So let's start to go to our uh, root account. Let's type sudo su. And here I'm in node node.js.org. Uh, and on the documentation, you can see um, on, on the download section, you can see how to install Node on Debian. So here is Debian, and the resources are available here. And why not take the last Node version for Debian? So here, I'm just typing the same uh, things. So here we set up node, and after we will install it. Let's install it. Here. And now we want to, we want to install an A8N. So go to the self-host version, and in our case, we will install it with NPM. So let's, let's make it. So N8N is installed, that's the good news. Now 
we want to install PM2. So let's go to the project. On PM2 is a project manager that allows to uh, uh, survey N with N on the other instance. So let's install it. Just copy the, the line and uh, we are done. Here we got PM2 installed. So let's now start it. Just type PM2 start at and you see, so the PM2 is here and it creates a dedicated fork of uh, PM. So now we got N8N up and running. So we got for our summary N8N installed on PM2 installed. Now let's look at Caddy server. Caddy server is an HTTP server written in Go. That um, uh, the particularity of Caddy server is to make uh, TLS certificates automatic, automatically, and its configuration is very simple to use. So, for our need, we will go to the documentation and see how to install it on Debian. So, here are the parts for Debian. So, I, I will just copy and paste. The, the documentation. So we will update the Debian uh, query. We will add the, the key, I presume, to, to be sure that uh, this, is, um, this is a trusted uh, server for the next update. We will re-update our Debian configuration. And now let's install Caddy server. Here we are. And the, the last part is to configure our need for Caddy server. So for, for my personal use, I will get what I write in a dark wood blog post. The fact is, uh, so I will, uh, I didn't, I did install it the Caddy server, but you have to write your configuration to match uh, the the Caddy server instance to the N with N instance. So let's let's do this. So I will make a directory for Caddy. We'll add the, the group of Caddy system. So it already exists. I will create a user Caddy. This is the case. I will add the, the Caddy service for when you um, when you start your Debian, you can uh, auto load the, the service. So I I just have the ready uh, configuration here. So I just pass it and let's go. We will save it. Exit. Save change. Okay. And let's make our uh, caddy file configuration. So we will we will uh, create the file, and we will see how to change it. So here, this is the caddy configuration file, and this is currently listening on uh, HTTP uh, 80 port, so the standard one. And for need, we will um, make the following change. I will. I will call the reverse proxy to the um, N with N N eight N um, uh, port, and the, for the, the the other thing we don't need it. Up, let's save it. Okay. And now let's start. Let's start, Kali. So you you just make service Kali start and. No, no error. So I will check what this looks like. So we can see Caddy is running, is up and running. So we did set up our Caddy. What we need to do is to reload Caddy <coughs> to take the change into account. On here, the last things to do, I will go back to light cell here. I will take my IP address and show the results on here. You got your N8N instance running. That's it for the session. And if you want to go further, 
uh, you can have a much more uh, configuration about DNS configuration. On, uh, on your light cell, on your uh, AWS account, I on your AWS account, you have to go to the router, to the root 53. So we will want to do this. But in root 53, you can configure your own domain name, and in your domain name, you add a record that with a, a record that link to the, the IP address and then you could you can have a dedicated area on on another uh, good advice is to go to the n8n documentation you can find it here because now the current n8n is available public so anyone can go to this IP address on uh, on uh, adjust uh, changement or make change. So what you need to do is in installation and then send on you go to configuration on here you see all the uh, variable. For instance you can set up your own database. You can tell what uh, IP, uh, what URL you, you use. And uh, for my part, I will set up my uh, time zone uh, Europe uh, Paris. And the, the good part is to so I uh, is to set up uh, the password, the user and password. If you set up the, the environment, then you will prompt uh, a, a user and password. And uh, and when you go here, you want you you have to type your password, so it will be much more secure. That's it. Thank you for listening and see you to the next time. Bye.